Hello friend, welcome back to this channel. It is nice to see you. In this video, we will discuss the recent statistics and trends on children and family social workers in the UK, including agency social workers, social worker employed by in the public sector. The statistics were produced by the Department for Education. If you have not yet done so, please click share and subscribe to this channel. In this video, we will also discuss the meaning of the statistics produced by uh, the education uh, department. And um, it's worth mentioning that the statistics were produced in accordance with the Office for Statistics Regulation. These statistics are produced annually for the period of 1st October to the 30th of September. Children and family social workers are social workers registered with Social Work England working in a local authority in a children's services department or if working in an authority where these services are joined up, a social worker that works primarily on children and families' work. Figures were produced on both a full, full-time full equivalent and headcount basis. The time series um, in the previous release shows data from uh, the year 2017. And the information that will be considered in this video is from in uh, from the year 2017 onwards which is when information on individual social workers were first collected by the department for education now let's go straight to the um the statistics and the headline facts uh, produced in the report and they are as follows the total number of social workers in post is 33,100. This represents an increase of 4.7% from the year 2022 and the highest in the yearly reporting since 2017. I will try to um, produce, um, I will try to show the figures in a, in, a, in, in a table and if, I, if I'm able to I may do it also in a graph to go with it so you can see it as you read along or as you listen along rather. Um, so I was, I, the, the, I was saying about the total numbers of social workers in post being uh, 33,100. Now the total number of agency social worker in post at the relevant time uh, is 7,200 which represents an increase of 6.1% from the year 2022 and the highest in the yearly reporting uh, from 2017. The total average caseload for the full-time social worker is 16.0, which represents a decrease of 16.6% per, uh, in 2022 and the lowest in the yearly reporting, which represents a decrease of 16% from the year 2022 and the lowest in the yearly reporting since 2017. The total number of vacancies for full-time social worker is 7,700, which represents a decrease of 2.4% from the year 2022, but the second highest in the yearly reporting since the year 2017. The total number of Social worker starters for full-time position is 6,000, which represents an increase of 24.9% from the year 2022 and the highest in the yearly reporting since 2017. It's worth mentioning it, uh, the following facts, and it's worth noting the following facts. In 2023, the number of children and family social worker starters this includes those moving between local authorities, was the highest since the series started in 2017. And this has contributed to the number of social workers also being the series peak. The increase in social worker starters is likely to have been partly driven by an intake of step up to social work graduates with the training programs delivering a new cohort of qualified social workers in alternate in alternate years and also an intake of graduates from 
social worker enterprise ships. The total sickness absence rate for full-time social worker is 3.2%, which represents a decrease from 3.5% in the year 2022, but the second highest in the yearly reporting since 2017. Now, under the category of age of social workers, in 2023, children and family social workers aged 30 to 39 continue to be the largest grouping according um, to the uh, statistics and accounting for around 3 in 10, in other words, 31% of social workers. The number of social workers rose across all age groups between the year 2022 and the year 2023. The biggest numeric rise was seen in the group aged 40 to 49, which is about 500 workers. And the biggest percentage rise was in the age, in those aged 60 and over, which is uh, approximately 9.4%. Under the category of gender of social workers, in the year 2023, nearly 9 in 10, or 87%, of children and family social workers were female. Under the category of ethnicity, going by the headcount statistics, ethnicity was known for 81% of children and family social worker in the year 2023. Of those, one in four, which is about 24.6%, were from ethnic minority background, excluding white minorities. And this has reached, and this has increased each year from 20% in the year 2017, mainly due to an increase in workers from black ethnic groups. The 25% of social workers from ethnic minority groups, excluding white minorities. Now we now move the we now move to another category under the category of time in service at local authority. First to find time in service is a measure of time, is a measure of the total time in a year that a social worker has been employed continuously in any children and family social worker role at their current local authority, rather than only the time they have spent in their current children and family social worker role. The overall rise of 1,500 children and family social workers between the year 2022 and 2023 was driven by an increase in workers who have had, who have been in service for less than two years, which was up to 900 workers, and between five and ten years, which is up by about 500 workers. Now, let's turn to the category of um, social worker uh, caseholder roles. Uh, just a caseholder is a children and family social worker that manages cases, but is not in, an, in a senior manager or middle manager role, or is not first line manager or a senior practitioner role. However, cases can be held by those not in case holder roles, if that uh, makes sense. The number of children and family social worker rose across, as in ROSE, rose across all roles, R-O-L-E-S, since uh, the year 2022. So I'll just take that again. The number of children and family social worker rose above all roles since 2022, <laughs> with the exception of senior managers, which showed a slight decrease, in other words, down 30 workers, or about 4.1%. The largest numeric rise was seen in caseholder case holder roles, up 600 workers, but the largest percentage rise was seen in those workers who were qualified without cases, which was up by 7.8%. In the year 2023... 46.7% of social workers were reported as being in a case holder role, down from 50.8% in 2017. Within children's services in the relevant reporting period, 
there were 337,100 cases held by 21,100 full-time social worker and agency workers as at 30th September 2023, equivalent to an average caseload of 16. This was a decrease of 0.6 cases per worker since the year 2022 and is the lowest average in the series. The highest was in 2017. Although the number of cases increased over the period by 0.4%, the average caseload decreased due to a greater increase in workers holding cases by 4.5%. Within children services in the relevant reporting period, there were 7,700 child and family social worker vacancies as at 30th September 2023, which represent a decrease of 2.4% or about 200 vacancies for a year from a year earlier. Whilst this represents the, f the first occasion that the number of vacancy has decreased since 2018, I'll, re I'll take that again, whilst this represents the first occasion that the number of vacancies has decreased since 2018, the latest figures still represents the second largest, the second highest in the series since the year 2022 being the series peak the corresponding vacancy rate decreased to 18.9 percent from 20 percent in the year 2022 again the latest rate represents the second highest in the series with 2022 being the series peak overall 74.4 percent of vacancies were covered by agency workers in 2023 up from 68.8 percent a year earlier and now the highest rate in the series we're just going to now comment on levers and turnovers and um, uh, at, at the local authority there were 5,300 full-time social worker levers in the year 2023 which was down 3.1% or 200 from a year earlier. The latest figures represent the second highest in the series, with the year 2022 being the series peak. I've been seeing things peaking at the year 2022 um, so many times, but anyway, let's move on. The associated turnover rate decreased to 15.9% in the year 2023 from 17.1% a year earlier. As with levers, the latest turnover rate represents the second highest in the series, with the year 2022 being the series peak. These statistics, news, trends and up, uh, updates illustrate the important role which social workers play in safeguarding children in the United Kingdom. Um, I hope this uh, video has been useful to you and um, I hope that um, you found information that can be used in your practice. Please let me know what you think about this statistics and trends in the comments below so that other people can also um, see how it's impacting uh, you. And if you have not yet click the share and subscribe button, please make sure you do so. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you so much.